in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed for you are God and God alone. bless his name the king of kings and the lord of lords majestic is your name we worship you the lion of the tribe of judah even the root of david all nations will worship all nations will bow all nations will proclaim that you are God and God alone. Someone bless his name. Someone bless his name. Someone bless his name. Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you are king. Tonight, standing in here. In the midst of all, we raise you high with our praise, and as we worship. tonight is your night to do mighty and wonderful things in our midst we acknowledge you as God the healer God the lifter God the restorer God the deliverer and we pray tonight that you will answer to your names in our midst in the name of Jesus Christ Spirit of the Living God we acknowledge your supremacy and even your leadership in our midst that you will move to glorify Jesus that you will move to glorify the Father thank you thank you again for in Jesus matchless name we pray hallelujah I welcome you to a night you will not forget in a hurry in the name of Jesus Christ I welcome you to a night where God himself will do signs and wonders in your life. I welcome you to a night where you will wave many things goodbye and they must wave you back. In the name of Jesus Christ.
I welcome you to a night where the Lord will reveal new dimensions of himself to you in the name of Jesus Christ welcome to our miracle service for the month of November may God bless you in Jesus name please be seated please be seated we have a lot to do tonight and God will grant us grace in the name of Jesus I sincerely want to start tonight by acknowledging our sacrifices. Most people, except you are deeply connected to this ministry and in this ministry, you may never understand um, the kinds of sacrifices that people make as early as 9, 10 this morning. There have been people from all across this nation, across the world. You can imagine the level of hunger and sacrifice. Hunger and sacrifice. How could God disappoint you? He will surprise you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me speak to our global family, those who are watching by way of television. I want you right now and even for those who are here, I want you to call and inform everyone you know who should be connected to this service right now and tell them God is about to do something from this place across the globe and it's important for people and families. Invite everyone, but you know people who are sick. You know people who are oppressed. Hallelujah. Some of you may need to contact people who are even in hospitals right now to tell them connect by faith. The power of God is about to move, to bring you healing, and to bring you wholeness. I believe in Jesus Christ, and I believe in his power to heal, to deliver, and to save. Hallelujah. And so I sincerely welcome everyone, and let me especially welcome all our international guests who have traveled from across the world if you are coming from a region beyond nigeria please stand whether you are inside or outside please stand let's honor them let's honor them are you are you celebrating people who have traveled from europe america several parts of africa inside and outside may god bless you the lord will do you good in the mighty name of jesus christ please be seated Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Please help me tonight welcome a dear, wonderful man of God with the Anglican Communion, Bishop Stanley Fube. Let's honor him. Thank you so much, sir. We sincerely appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Please sit. And then please help me welcome a dear friend and a man of God, Apostle Paul Ame. God bless you all the way from Lagos. May the Lord bless you. Thank you, sir. We sincerely appreciate you. Everyone is welcome except your problems. Everyone is welcome except every devil that came with you. Everyone is welcome except that cause, that yoke that has vowed not to leave you. Everyone and everything is welcome except the devil and everything he came with. And my assignment tonight is to insist that you must part ways with those things forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 107 from verse 18 and 19. Psalm 107 verse 18 and 19. Um, I want us to start. Hallelujah. No, did I get that right? Psalm 107, verse 31 and 32. 31 and 32. I want us to take quality time, five, ten minutes, to just thank the Lord for his goodness and his faithfulness. Hallelujah. It says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Verse 32. He says, let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. I'll give you three scriptures and then we'll tell the Lord thank you. Scripture number two. 
Lamentations chapter 3 from verse 22 to 23. I brought to the stage tonight my contemplations as far as thanksgiving is concerned. It says it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Do you believe that? It says because his compassions fail not. The next verse please. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. One last scripture, Psalm 103 from verse 1. We'll read down to 5. Please be patient. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, he says, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Verse 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Verse 3. Who forgiveth thine iniquities, who healed all thy diseases. How many? Not some. Who healed all thy diseases, who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. The last verse. Who satisfied thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, because of all this and more, he says, oh, that men would praise the Lord. I'm not one person who likes to blow trumpets and to talk. I always like to give God praise. I made a covenant with God years ago and I prayed and asked him never to show me the full extent of my impact in the lives of people, less pride and vain glory steps into our lives because we're human i just said lord let me just have an idea of what you are doing through my life and that is enough and god answered that prayer but i can tell you ladies and gentlemen it will sound like an exaggerated statement or flattery if we are to take our time in detail and express the goodness the hand of god from this house to the nations of the earth some of you will not believe it in as much as you know or you have an idea of what God is doing. Hallelujah. It is the mighty and marvelous hand of God. Salvations, healings, deliverances, restorations, supernatural turnarounds. Time will fail me to, to talk about nations. We're not just talking of individuals now. We're not just talking of churches now. We're not just talking of maybe regions. We're talking of nations that have experienced the power of God on account of this. Hallelujah. And I want us to start tonight by truly acknowledging the Lord. It's a big secret I've learned from the fathers of faith and I've incorporated it as a secret in my life. To always be thankful always be thankful no assumptions when it has to do with your work with God and you do not have to wait until miracles and the demonstrations of his power are seemingly spectacular everything by the hand of God deserves your acknowledgement in gratitude whilst you're seated I don't know how you are going to tell him thank you but I want you to think about your life for one moment and think about the mighty hand of God in this ministry. Go ahead and tell him thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. I can never repay you, but from my heart, I like to say that I thank you. Go ahead and bless him. I can never repay you, but from my heart, i like you to know that I thank you. I can never repay you, but from my heart, I'm saying, Lord, that I thank you. Thank
for deliverances. Thank you for preservation. Is someone expressing gratitude tonight? Thank him for koinonia. Thank him for light. Marvelous light. Thank him for the power of his spirit. The grace to travel across the nations. Bring in the light. The truth of God's word with power and grace and a spectacular demonstration of his spirit is someone saying thank you thank him for prosperity thank him for increase thank him for influence thank him for Jesus consistently revealed in our midst consistently glorified in our midst Lord, we bless you. Let the nations know that you are God. Let the nations know that you are King. Let the nations acknowledge you as the doer of every good thing. Every good thing. Every healing. Every miracle. Don't be tired. This is part of the miracle service. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. I am so blessed. My soul has found rest. Oh, Lord, I give you thanks. I am so blessed. My soul has found rest. Oh, Lord. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. Don't focus on me. Don't focus on what is happening. Just look to Jesus. We honor you and we thank you. Thank him for your children. Thank him for your wife. Thank him for your husband. Forget about what is not yet in place. Just focus on thanksgiving. Thank him because it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. The psalmist said, I lay me down and I slept. I waked for the Lord sustained me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father, we thank you. Let the nations watch as we thank you. Let the nations watch as we helplessly declare our dependence on you who is a doer of everything good in this life and in this ministry. Thank you. For in Jesus' name we pray. Father, as a man greatly helped by you, as a ministry that you have lavishly shown your mercy, we say thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the power of wisdom. Thank you for the systems of advantage you have granted us access to. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for placing your hand upon our lives 
and causing the nations to experience your light even from us thank you for granting us access to illumination tonight we have come with our hearts open tonight we have come ready to receive Lord Jesus let no one walk out of this place disappointed for in Jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah God bless you please be seated I truly believe with all my heart by the way I like us to truly appreciate those who are in the overflow outside please celebrate those outside is this the best you can do for them hallelujah I don't know how many capacity seater we're going to build but God is granting us grace in the name of Jesus Christ it it pains my heart sometimes when I find out you know when when we have to just walk with the provisions that we have for now those who are in the auditorium represent a very minute fraction of those so many in all the overflows down to the basement outside several people tens of thousands of people this can only be God this is but the hand of God praise the Lord tonight there are three areas that the Lord revealed to me in the place of prayer that he is going to be dealing with very seriously and I want to charge our hearts and then we get straight to the business of the night um, number one please write it down the first area that the Lord wants to visit by his spirit and this coincides with the program of God for the nations even in this end time I did tell us that the Spirit of God revealed to me and this is also consistent with scripture that before Jesus returns as we approach the end of the age there will be a restoration of the mantles the healing ministry in a way and a dimension we have never seen I know that here and there we have seen pockets of healing and while it will be very uncomfortable especially for we men of God to acknowledge that we're still at the level of infancy as far as it has to do with the healing ministry it is true you just need to be a student of scripture and a student of history and you will come to a very honest conclusion that in as much as God is helping us here and there we do not come close to the phenomenal demonstrations of the hand of God especially in the in the area of healing that have been has been experienced you know in the ages and the years past but we know that God is restoring this grace in the name of Jesus Christ so tonight the Lord is going to be moving as a healer and as a deliverer this is the first area that God wants to deal with why am I telling you so that your faith would be alive and so that you will find comfort knowing that he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain let me give you a few scriptures Psalm 34 please from verse 18 and 19 let's work together media we have a number of scriptures to deal with the Bible says the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save it such as be of a contrite spirit 19 it says many are the afflictions of the righteous many in as much as that person is a righteous person the Bible says it is not unusual for the righteous to be afflicted but it leaves him with an assurance that the Lord delivered him out of them all shout amen. amen the Lord delivered him out of them all number two Psalm 107 we read it earlier but we'll read it again 19 and 20 Psalm 107 19 and 20 it says then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses verse 20 it says he sent his word 
and it healed them and delivered them from their destructions. So the word of God sustains within itself the capacity to heal and the capacity to, to deliver from destruction. In Isaiah chapter 53, very popular scripture and verse 5, Isaiah 53 and verse 5, the Bible says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. It says the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Apostle Peter, in expressing this scripture, would say by his stripes we were healed. That means no matter what the situation is tonight, as you are hearing this scripture, I'm not just rehearsing a scripture you already read. It is a prophetic word to you that you must be uncomfortable with that situation and trust God to step in over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 49, I like this one, from verse 24 down to 26. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Oh, let every devil hear this. Or the lawful captive delivered is a question. 25, it says, But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. It says, For I will contend. Who contends with them? God himself. Listen, hold on. Don't rush that scripture. Do you know what it means for God to arise and contend with them that contend with you, not with him? Not with him. I will arise and contend with him. Ah. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Can stand against our king. No one can. No one will. He said, Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save your children. Verse 26. It says, I will feed them that oppress you with their own flesh and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine and all the flesh shall know listen carefully that i am thy savior and thy redeemer the mighty one of jacob shout a loud amen, amen. so god is here tonight to heal and to deliver to heal and to deliver to take away pain to take away bodily afflictions that plague God's people, spying upon your liberty. I have explained to you the theology behind healing, that God heals to reveal number one, his love, and then number two, his power. But classically speaking, the reason why the healing ministry is very important is because every believer only has the right to one body per lifetime, as much as the Bible reveals to us. Please pay attention one body per lifetime your spirit is only authorized to be hosted in one body within the frame of a lifetime hallelujah that means whatever deteriorates that body is attempting to cut short your life and your days are we together there is a requisite level a threshold level of health that your body must attain unto for your spirit to be able to live inside it comfortably. When your body is deteriorated beyond that point, your spirit will have to be separated, whether it is the end of your days or not. So every manifestation of sickness, disease, and infirmity is, is, a, is the administration of death in portions. Hallelujah. And then deliverance. Why do we need to be delivered? I told you that we're not only delivered from spirit influences, we're also delivered from conditions. Are we together now? Yes. There are spirits that tie into conditions and oppress God's people. You can be delivered from spirit influences but you can be delivered from conditions. The word deliver or deliverance simply means you're being separated 
from an influence, be it spiritual or a circumstantial influence that impedes your advancement and impedes the revelation of the glory of God in and through your life. Number two, the second area God is going to be dealing with extensively. And please, I'd like your heart to be open to receive everything tonight. Is the area of our finances. Isaiah 35 and verse 27. Believe it all in the name of Jesus Christ. 35, 27. Isaiah, help us media, 35, 27, 3, 5, 2, 7. Did I get that right? Let them shout for joy that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually. Let me quote it because of time. The Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Are we together? God hath pleasure. Listen carefully in the prosperity of his servant that means everything that fights your getting blessed is fighting the will of god concerning your life believers please hear me settle it once and for all that it is not antichrist to prosper settle it once and for all that in the face of financial limitations many things will not be in place in your life period whether as an individual whether organizationally speaking are we together? This is a world that is driven by economy. It takes more than the awareness of the will of God to birth his purposes. There is a place in your life where you will need sufficient resources. Not just resources. Resources to the degree to which your well-being and the assignment of God needs. The Bible says God delighted in the prosperity of his servant. Deuteronomy 8 18 says and thou shalt remember but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God it says it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth it is God that empowers men to get wealth to establish his covenant which he swear with your fathers particularly Abraham what was the covenant in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed he made a covenant to Abraham hallelujah and the Bible says that in Galatians 3, I believe, verse, verse 29 or so, it says, And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So in Christ, all of us have become beneficiaries, recipients of that blessing. It was to Abraham and his seed, Paul teaches us, which is Christ. And now because we have been grafted into Christ through redemption, we are partakers of all that is in Christ, including the blessing of Abraham. Hallelujah. So God gives power to prosper. That means it takes power to prosper. It takes power to prosper in this wicked, evil, and selfish world. It takes power more than value. It takes power to prosper. The Bible says strong men retain wealth. The easiest part of wealth is becoming wealthy. Staying wealthy takes power. It takes more than value. Is someone learning? Psalm 127 from verse 1 and 2. Psalm 127 from verse 1 and 2. Except the Lord builds a house, he says, they labor in vain that build it. That means it will carry a semblance of being built. But the Bible says it is in vain. Except the Lord keeps or watches over a city. He said the watchman waketh up but in vain. Verse 2. It says it is vain for you to rise up early. That is, not a, that is not a bad virtue. But it is in vain if God does not support you. And to sit up late in the night. Only to eat the bread of sorrow. For it is only God that can give his beloved sleep. Hallelujah. We live in a world where people downplay the role that God has to play as far as empowering people is concerned. Let me tell you, economically speaking, you don't need to be a Christian. You don't need to know God. You do not even need to acknowledge him. 
once you understand the principles of value and productivity principles of exchange and relationships these are foundational principles from a secular standpoint that govern the availability of financial resources you don't have to be born again but i can tell you there are dimensions because becoming wealthy comes with other luggages too hatred wickedness jealousy battles you have no business fighting are we together now that one now it is not brain work that preserves you he said i lay me down and i slept i waked for the lord sustained me hallelujah if you were alive in the days of noah whether you were an economic guru whether you understood principles of finances whoever was not in the ark no matter how economically stable you were, no matter how valuable your business or your products and services were, you would die completely. And let me tell you, according to the laws of times and seasons, there are always moments on earth where this kind of event reoccurs, where only those who know how to hide under the shelter of Jehovah are preserved. An example was COVID-19. Hallelujah. By the privilege of God's grace, I've had the honor of praying with, talking with, and ministering at a very personal level to multi-millionaires and billionaires. And I can tell you, you will think that attaining a level of wealth of that sort will translate automatically to peace and joy and rest. It is a joke. You do not want to know the problems. There are many multi-millionaires in dollars who will give up their money to find peace, will give up their money to find joy, will give up their money to deal with that which is plaguing their health. It is the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and added no sorrow. Medical doctors here present and across the world will tell you that most of their clients are not poor people. How much do they have to visit the hospital regularly? The kind of wealth that the more your wealth grows, the more your BP2 grows. The more your wealth grows, the more you are, you're suspecting everybody, including your wife and your husband. You become a millionaire, you transfer yourself to one room alone. You become a billionaire, you move to one house alone. What kind of life is that? So when God wants to prosper us, don't carry brain work and economy and say, leave all that Christian talk. The person talking to you is not stupid. I understand economic principles. He says, I, Daniel, understood by books. But I can tell you there is a way, there is a superior dimension to accessing the blessings of God and find rest. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory sit down hallelujah you can have money and believe that is all it takes and one thing can happen to your business and reduce you break your pride like it has happened to many people who have laughed at God find out what happened to remember the story of the rich man in the Bible he destroyed bands and built bigger ones and said my soul find rest listen believe us let me tell you this, you will never hear me downplay the place of the blessings of God, the place of wealth and abundance. I'm not that kind of preacher. I will teach you the whole counsel of God. Make no mistakes about the importance and the relevance of finances. In the upkeep of your life, your children. I understand the price of things have, have for some doubled, some tripled. Hallelujah. One of my people was giving me a haircut this afternoon and he was just giving me a story of the market, what goes on there. And he said, this and that that used to be this is now this. And we're yet to step into December. You know what happens already. Hallelujah. We need to pray because it looks like the price of chicken now will soon almost become house rent. <laughs> Are we together? Praise the name of the Lord. 
So don't, don't bring some kind of false humility and say, I don't need to prosper, I'm not interested. It is wickedness to reject prosperity because there are many people connected to you. When you think from a standpoint of selfishness, you don't need much to be alive and all of that. How much, this is all your stomach, this is all of you. How much do you need to eat? But when you think about those connected to you and then the program of God, you've heard me say the name of Jesus is heavy. It takes resources to lift it up. High enough for the nations to see. Koinonia, hear me tonight. God has sent me tonight to speak and declare that grace for prosperity, it must land on you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. It must land on you tonight. I believe in prosperity. I believe it is the will of God's people. Listen, I do not believe. Listen, please. I do not believe that God's people have to live a life from hand to mouth, struggling around. Most of the attitudes and temptations of unrighteousness come in response to lack. Is that true? There are more people who are delving the path of compromise and unrighteousness as a result of lack than it is as a result of abundance. Very simple health situations that can be managed medically are complicated because of lack of financial resources. Look at the amount of young people right now having BP and all kinds of things. You see a young boy in his early 20s having the trouble of a man of 60 years. What are you thinking about? And he says, my father died. I'm the firstborn among seven and six of them are idol worshippers. I'm the only one who got born again. You will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Allah is turning things around. Allah is turning things around. Allah is turning things around. a prophetic word that God will prosper you. There is wealth that comes by developing your value and exchanging it for a price. That is the standard classic way to be blessed financially. That means you package your value, you serve it with excellence to a targeted consumer base. That's what you call business. There is a level of wealth that comes by reason of impacting lives. You don't sell that, you give. However, because of God's system of justice, there will always be a way that people will honor you and reward you. And because you do not sell it, your reward will not come at a fixed price. It will come based on the perception of the one you have blessed. Are we together now? But there is the third dimension of wealth that the world cannot get. It is the prophetic dimension. It's called sovereign wealth. Wealth that comes by the speakings of the prophet. It says, and by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet was he preserved. Believe in the Lord your God, he says, and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets. What is the assignment of the prophetic? To create a climate of favor above you. I hope you believe this. There is overemphasis on just the spirituality of wealth and people do not become valuable the bible talks about god blessing the works of your hands but please hear me believers make no mistakes to downplay the place of the prophetic just because you are valuable i have taught you here there are times like peter where your boat is correct yet you will not catch fish you can be in the sea yet you will not catch fish you have the correct net you are a professional fisherman 
at that point you don't need fishing you need Jesus Jesus said cast your net to the right side for some of you you have tried your first prayer request right now is your business because it is not working in as much as the value is there the prophetic is powerful by this time tomorrow I hope you believe what I'm saying I made a covenant with God that I will never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant men of the word and men of prayer I believe in the power of influence I believe in God prospering people there are many unnecessary prayer requests one of my dear sons will say that financial prosperity will reduce your prayer points and increase your prayer life that means your prayer life will be reduced from give me give me and you can now properly pray the way your spirit desires for most believers our prayers are surrounded but give me give me one time a wealthy man came very wealthy man came to my house with his children and I said everybody should say what is their concern and the children absolutely didn't have anything to say I'm not sure they even understood what I was saying I said look how unfair life can be I'm asking these children and they're just looking around and smiling and they said oh, nothing maybe just general blessings I said oh dear general blessings whereas there are people you say what should God do may God do it this night I prophesy to you may God do it this night in the name of Jesus Christ I hope I'm not wasting your time open up your heart to prosper in this wicked world some of you you need to pay attention when this grace comes tonight because give your parents a chance to see the lifted you before they go to see Jesus give your loved ones a chance and then this this dirty life of hustling and going around to compromise on your faith because of tea and bread it's not enough to tell believers stop doing this stop following this and that we must introduce the grace that empowers people hallelujah look at how people run from pillar to post because of house rent by the time the lady is pushed to the wall now the devil begins to suggest all kinds of things then the devil programs a wicked man who says beautiful lady are you not in Abuja don't you know are you a small girl and then she delves into a path of compromise and when believers come they do not understand the pain of lack and it's easy for people to judge I'm saying it again may God prosper you How many how many sincere men and women of God some of you are seated here scattered in the congregation you love Jesus there is so much you want to do for the kingdom you are not limited by revelation you are not limited by your hunger and passion your limitation is resources and the devil knows the role that resources have to play some of you have never been able to do anything any any prophetic campaign for the kingdom because of resources you pass by children in your community every day some of them they will tell you this person stopped school since january and you pass and you just say oh dear i wish i wish may god change that i wish in the name of jesus <laughs> hallelujah imagine that as i came here now i have a lot of financial needs and then and i can prophesy you think i'll leave you to go free Are we together imagine that I, I I ask them to give me a bowl now once I speak to you just don't even ask me any question just drop whatever I, you know all these skills that people bring it's not that people are bad It's what happens when there is no lack when, when there is lack hallelujah I submit to you with all humility what it takes to run one koinonia service is what many people will run a conference with I submit to you by God But for as long as I'm alive and for as long as this ministry is, nobody will ever put one pressure on you financially. No. 
For someone, maybe you came here, husband and wife, maybe you came here, a pastor representing your ministry. Among the many graces you should covet is the help of God, even in this area. Don't just covet the healing, anointing, signs and wonders and leave this other part. Believe me, God can prosper you in a way that every devil knows you have been helped by God. This is not about bragging and making noise. If it is not there, it is not there. It's as simple as that. Hallelujah. So this is the second thing that God is doing. Visiting the finances of God's people. Ending this financial captivity that has held families, held so many people down. Especially because of what is happening across the globe. Right now, frankly speaking, there is no nation you go to that automatically guarantees financial freedom. Europe, there's fight everywhere. America is there. Africa, we have our own. Nigeria, we have our own peculiar issues. So whether you run from pillar to post, it is still the help of God. And Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of God. You're a businessman here. Please open up your heart. And don't let the devil deceive you and say, I am prosperous. How much? You see, that's the problem. For most times, when you are driven by, you, you are not pro-kingdom in your thinking, respectfully speaking, how much is enough? You see, you don't measure enough by your personal satisfaction. You measure enough by how much is required for the kingdom. If God has called you to be a kingdom financier and you just rejoice over one billion or hundred million, that is too small for a work. How much is it to build the house of God? hallelujah you know you are truly prosperous when you can give lavishly to the work of God and it does not affect you until you get there don't rest hallelujah having a car and having an estate and those these things they are wonderful I don't downplay that sacrifice but we're getting to a point where God will give men prosperity that is equal to that of nations where you can sit down in the morning in your office and you are just sharing money like a that's your work in the name of jesus this ministry this is what we are giving this one for this one this mission agency may that be your portion in the name of jesus christ hallelujah how many clothes can you buy how many foods can you eat? No matter how greedy you are, two or three plates is enough. Your body will even say, you, I can't take more. So we're not talking about accumulating money to say, my soul, find rest. No. For some of you, you are right here. And if we are to check your prayer request, it's still this economic thing again. Your children are perhaps now in tertiary institutions and sadly you see some of the things that have happened to our federal institutions i believe in the blessing of the lord i believe that it is the will of god to show men mercy may you find that grace Amen. number three what is god doing in our lives tonight advancement and establishment this is the third thing that the lord revealed to me Please pay attention. Proverbs chapter 4, please, from verse 18 and 19. Proverbs 4, 18 and 19. But the path of Joshua Selman is as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Verse 19. It says, but the way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not what they, at what they stumble. So the Bible says for the wicked person, his path should get dimmer and dimmer, but for the just, that his path should be as the shining light 
that shines brighter and brighter in job chapter 8 and verse 7 a scripture that has ministered to me it ministered to me right from when god started with me he said though thy beginning was small for someone this is a prophetic word for you tonight though thy beginning was small he said yet thy later end should greatly increase that means there is no problem starting small there is no problem starting whether we small in terms of the level of grace in terms of your understanding of the word in terms of your capacity and influence but according to god's pathway for the believer increase should come with time hallelujah in job chapter 42 while meditating upon this this morning it blessed me in a, a very profound way job 42 let's start from verse 12 please Job 42 and verse 12. Watch this. The Bible says, So the Lord blessed the later end of Job more than his beginning. Go to verse 13. Let's see. I just wanted you to see that first part. It says, um, let's, let's, let's try 15. So we do 15 down to 17. It says, And in all the land, he's talking about the daughters he later had now, and their father gave them inheritance among the brethren. The later part of Job's life now, 16. We we'll read down to 17. After this, Job lived 140 years and saw his sons and his sons' sons, even four generations. 17. So Job died being old and full of days. This was the later part. There is nobody on earth who has gone through what Job went through. So by that talk, you should already know that your situation is not hopeless. If you had seen Job, in the face of his tragedy what else is worse than losing all your sons and daughters in one day then you are plagued with your health condition you now see the wealthiest man in the east seated by the roadside with his wife can you imagine that and people would pass him and just nod their heads and say your charm has finally caught up with you god punish you and they would pass and the bible says even for such a man there is hope so what have you gone through that makes you believe that is hopeless? Do you know what it meant for the woman to still be alive and still give birth to daughters and sons? And the Bible says they were fairer and more beautiful than all the people there. Then God restored Job twice. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me please sit down advancement and establishment is god's will for my life is god's will for your life isaiah chapter 12 i believe i hope i got that right and verse 6 Please help me find it. It was the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron. It was the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron. I remember the day I found that scripture. It blessed me in no small way. That men do not just move forward. When you see a man moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, there is a force in the spirit. The very hand of God. Media, can you find that scripture for me? Yes, thank you. 12, 1 Samuel, my apologies, 1 Samuel 12 and verse 6. It was the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron. So Moses did not just go forward. Aaron did not just go forward. Men do not just go forward. It's the Lord that advances men. In your career, in your life, may you go forward tonight. The Lord brought you here tonight to move you forward. God does not bring people to take them backward. Are you listening to me? God does not bring people, I repeat, to take them backward. He has brought you here to move you forward and I have come as a prophetic midwife. In the name of Jesus, you must go forward. In the name of Jesus, I say again, you must go forward. Hallelujah. One of the characteristics of living things, biology taught us, is movement. That when a person or a thing is alive, you test it 
by its ability to move. That means when a person is stagnated or stagnating, it is a sign of death. Hallelujah. We're going to start by tonight by praying a few prayer points. Get ready to pray. When it's time to pray, pray seriously in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer is a very powerful platform that helps us to make our requests known. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, it says to be anxious for nothing. Other versions will say careful. The correct word there is anxious. Be anxious for nothing, he says, but in everything. How many things? Everything. By prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, he says present your request. Give us KJV, please make your request let your request be made known unto god let your request be made known don't assume he knows let your requests be known unto god hallelujah in mark chapter 11 and verse 24 mark 11 24 jesus was teaching them on prayer and said therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray desire pray desire pray desire not just wish connect your desires to prayer when ye pray believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them hallelujah apostle john was teaching us and he says and this is the confidence we have in him that when we ask anything that is according to his will we know that he heareth us this is our confidence that when we come before him asking anything we know and that when we know that he hears us, then we can be confident that our petitions have been granted. God himself is a prayer answering God. You believe that? So as we arise to pray, now please pay attention. Um, the issue of advancement and finances that one would just come by strong prophetic declarations. Every time you lift your hands or every time you say amen, please have it at the back of your mind that amen means let it be done unto me as spoken by the Lord through his servant. That's what amen means. Are we together now? So your, your assignment is to receive and know that prophetically something is coming upon your life. But my, my primary focus tonight is I want to really take out time and pray for the sick and pray for those who have been oppressed. Hallelujah. So you are in this place and you know that you have been plagued by all kinds of demonic assaults, number one, and then you have all kinds of bodily illnesses and pains, you know. I was researching earlier. I wanted to know all the sicknesses that are available within our environment and in the world. I lost count. I mean, you cannot imagine the... the the, the materials I was consulting would bring one, one class of sicknesses and then list variations. For instance, if you say cancer, in the medical world, cancer is not just cancer as you know. We just call it in layman's language. By the time they pieces that thing and start a lecture for you, you will just say, look, let me just... Cancer, headache, what you call headache is a complicated issue. Because there's headache that is a symptom of many sicknesses. So it's not, you would just generally say headache. But for someone, headache means fatigue, you need to rest. For someone, it's a symptom of something else. Are we together now? There is only one name. There is only one name. With power to save. I may not know all the variations of the sicknesses, but this one is for sure. There is only one name. When we are done praying, then I'm going to begin to minister to the sick. And please, all the overflows, 
down to the basement and then the overflow outside and for those connecting online media please let them have the numbers to call or the emails or whatever is the means of contact make sure that you carry our global family and those who are connecting online along as soon as we are done praying I'm going to start ministering by the power of God please I like you to make sure that you do not lose concentration hallelujah let me request for um, so that we can conserve time how many of you already have your prayer requests just show by wave of hands you already have it written down how many of you may need a minute or two to still write a few things let me see your hands okay here's what will happen um, ushers and then maybe every other department PR that can help them while we are praying may I request that you bring out your prayer request now pass it to the person by the aisle left or right so that we collate it right away because there's a lot we're going to be doing hallelujah so we're going to pray I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit and I believe in the ministry of prayer in the next five minutes without losing concentration I want you to begin to pray in the spirit open up your heart by faith pray in the spirit pray in understanding prepare your heart for the prayer points that are about to come is someone praying go ahead and pray somebody is praying In the name of Jesus Christ Isaiah 54 and verse 17 Isaiah 54 and verse 17 this my people please can you worship team you people have sung here eh? let, let my people use the mic and let's pray maybe four or five mics you can send it to my dear people so that we we'll take some time to pray in this place tonight Isaiah 54 and verse 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper it says and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shall condemn it says this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord listen carefully and their righteousness is of me saith the Lord we are praying over the issue of supernatural protection and preservation are we together now Luke chapter 10 and verse 19 I'll give you three scriptures two more now Luke 10 19 please Luke 10 19 behold koinonia I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy it says and nothing shall by any means someone say by any means nothing shall by any means hurt you nothing shall by any means hurt you second timothy 4 and verse 18 second timothy 4 and verse 18 and the lord shall deliver me from every evil work it says and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever someone shout say in the name of jesus one more time say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that every walk of evil over my life over my family and all connected to me I come against you in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to pray Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Across 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He said he suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am God's anointed. I am God's anointed. Therefore I declare. Therefore I declare. That every evil. That every evil. Against my life. Against my life. I curse you by the blood of the Lamb. Open your mouth and pray. Every evil. Every evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every closed door. Every closed door. Over my destiny. Over my destiny. Right now. Right now. I declare. I declare. Be open. Be open. Please open your mouth and pray. Be open. Every closed door. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. He said, I desire to come to you once and again, even I, Paul, but Satan hindered us. Satan can hinder men. I'd like you to shout it from the depth of your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I take authority, I take authority over, every hindrance, over every hindrance. Stopping good things stopping good from things. coming into my life. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every hindrance. Man, systems, demonic forces. Every hindrance. I come against you. I come against you. I come against you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. If you are in ministry or you are in any form of leadership, as we pray this prayer, let it be from your heart. Every chain. Every chain. Shout it again. Say every chain. Every chain. Tying down my advancement. Tying down my advancement. Tying down my progress. Tying down my progress. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Break now. Yeah. <laughs> 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say every legal access. Every legal access. That the devil has over my life. That the devil has over my life. Over the works of my hands. Over the works of my hands. And over all connected to me. And over all connected to me. By the blood of the Lamb. Access is broken now. Go ahead and pray. Every legal access. Every legal access. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Now, please listen carefully. Listen carefully. Just help those under the anointing. When I was preparing the prayer requests, this prayer request, I had a vision. And in the vision, I saw a woman sitting down. And I just saw tears coming out of her eyes. And that was when this scripture came. Psalm 116 verse 8. Psalm 116 and verse 8. Psalm 116 for thou hast delivered my soul from death my eyes from tears and my feet from falling someone say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I, decree I decree and declare that the spirits that the spirit and the forces, and the forces responsible, for my tears, responsible for my tears I declare judgment upon you judgment now upon you. open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus 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 say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the mantle for my destiny the mantle for my destiny the mantle for my assignment rest upon me now open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray the grace assigned the mantle assigned for your destiny let it rest upon you In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, two more prayer points. Fire is burning in this place. Mm. 
you are going to pray everything that left my life everything that left my life by demonic orchestrations by demonic orchestrations i decree and declare i decree and declare hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord return back to my destiny open your mouth and prophesy restoration 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 Restore, restore, restore years, restore things, restore years, restore things. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. The final prayer point, I want you to pray it with all of your heart. 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 26. 15, 26. And the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Last week, you cannot imagine how many people I got, without exaggeration, probably thousands of text messages saying, Apostle, thank you so much. That message, I shall not die. It just destroyed. You cannot imagine how many people live perpetually in the fear of death. Fear of death. It says, and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare that I have no covenant with death. I have no covenant with the grave. Therefore, every altar that wants to administer death may the Lord judge you right now open your mouth and pray I have no covenant with death no covenant with death no covenant with death no covenant with the grave someone pray no covenant with death In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, many of you will be surprised as you see answers to this prayer begin to come into your life. There is a God that answers prayers. He says there shall be no more infant of days. You see, when you see things going wrong in your life, you have a responsibility to identify it based on the will of God, not based on emotions. The basis for everything we do. Listen, I have taught you that the, the administration of the power of God is within the jurisdiction of the will of God. The power of God does not act outside of the will of God. Are we together? The ability, the assignment, the mandate upon the power of God is to restore all things to be consistent with the will of God. Hallelujah. So when the power of God comes upon a person, it works only with respect to the will of God. 
this is the confidence upon which we can release God's word and expect it to work because when the word of God listen the word of God works like a drug when a doctor gives you a pill or a set of pill to swallow you don't have to tell the pill where to go to already designed are we together now it knows where to go and find the entire pharmacology of the drug it was designed to identify there is a way it works in your body for some of you the moment you swallow the drug it would demand that you are asleep for it to really work so it will just hibernate your body and force you to sleep and then you wake up with a sigh of relief hallelujah when the power of God comes into your life it does not know you as a person it only knows the will of God or what is not the will of God and the assignment of the power of God is to start scanning your life no this this growth here is inconsistent with the will of God that becomes the ministry right there hallelujah so don't just fall down and stand up for nothing don't just shout and scream for nothing no understand what the power of God is doing in your life when we are praying for the sick we may not mention your case you see because even within the prophetic we are limited and whether your case is mentioned or not yours is to receive let the power of God go into your body the power of God has no business going to your kidneys when the problem is in your head if a drug that was designed by man has that level of intelligence and precision how much more the word of God that is quick and powerful the Bible says it is sharper than every two-edged sword it is able to divide even to asunder between the soul and the spirit and that it can even discern the intent of the heart of man hallelujah when the anointing of the spirit comes upon you you must believe that you received something and then you must take the relevant actions once i pray for the sick and we we it is time to take testimonies for those in all the overflow so that we do it in an orderly manner as we always do if they are coming for the testimony allow them to come those outside there are several people outside so that there's no chaos make sure that there's an orderly way to usher them in and then for those who are online you can always send in your testimonies and we'll be able to take a few in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus did not ignore the presence of demons Jesus did not ignore the reality of the ministry of demons in fact in his teaching very clearly he would he would let them know that from the beginning it was not so that Satan had played a role in the conditions of those people but the most important thing is that every time Jesus works miracles it is for the revelation of his glory that means one of the ways that he reveals his glory is by working miracles John chapter 2 and verse 11 this beginning of miracles the Bible says did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory how did he manifest his glory by beginning to do miracles the Bible says and the disciples believed in him hallelujah in John chapter 20 from verse 30 and 31 give it to us please John 20 and many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of the disciples which are not written in this book 31 it says but these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ the Son of God and that in believing you might receive life through his name so there are no limits to what he's able to do hallelujah several people have come right now with oppressions of darkness and there is no reason you can't have some of you have come here from as early as eight nine in the morning can you imagine to wait that long only to experience the power of God would it be just and fair that you return back the way you came and then the only thing you say is well I came for a miracle service what then is the miracle about the service hallelujah 
So as I minister by the Spirit, I want you to focus not just on people falling and standing up. Focus on what the power of God is doing and then especially in your own life too. Believe that God is doing something in your life. When God gives a prophetic word, say for instance, even if your name is not called and it applies to you right where you are, what he says to one, he says to all, you can connect by faith. Is a father and the Lord who has transited in glory, Archbishop Benson in Dahosa, who says, if your faith says yes, God will not say no. He says, if ye being evil know how to give good gifts, how much more will your heavenly father? Hallelujah. Several people are here under the influence of strange, unclean, the Bible calls them wicked spirits that masquerade behind the negative conditions of men. I hope you know that most negative conditions in the lives of people are sponsored and influenced by the presence of demon spirits. And fighting physical things is only a total waste of time. It is authority in the name of Jesus that is able to deal with these demonic forces. And that separation is what the Bible calls deliverance. The greatest of them being your salvation itself. Because salvation is the chiefest expression of deliverance. Being translated, the Bible says, from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. But that does not neglect nor downplay other dimensions of deliverance. Like that which happens upon Mount Zion. Because the Bible says, but upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. Then the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Are you ready tonight? As for me, for as long as I live, the devil will not rest. For as long as I live, there will not be one person who comes under this, this prophetic atmosphere. Oppressed by the devil. Acts 10.38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing not all they that were sick. That means most sicknesses are issues of deliverance. Healing all, that they, all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so please, when people are falling under the anointing close to you, we have a lot of ushers, hundreds of them, but they are limited. And we need to stretch and walk with time. If someone is under the anointing close to you, whether you are an usher or not, if there is a call to bring them out, please do well to bring them out. Let's walk together so that God grants us grace. In the name of Jesus, one last prayer. Father, I'm ready. Locate me and visit me. Go ahead and pray. Locate me. Visit me. Locate me, visit me. Salabakato shabrandege verekosi atabalandosi. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. When we minister deliverance, it's not just an issue of anointing and power. There is a dimension of kingdom authority. You see, authority is higher than power. It is authority that gives power its legitimate ground to be administered. Are we together? The person who has power and the person who has authority, one with authority is greater because you can use power illegitimately. Authority is what gives power its credence. For instance, if you carry a gun and you shoot someone, you can be in jail for the rest of your life because you have power, but you do not have authority. Is that true? Yeah. When you get to the court of law, they are not going to ask you if you have a gun. They will say, based on what? What gave you that authorization? But no judge will call a military man and say, why did you shoot these people when you are in war? They got the command to fire from their commanding officer and they acted so. Are we together now? He said, we have been commanded to bless. So I'm about to pray. And I'm going to ask you to start bringing those 
under the anointing it's interesting how god does this thing believe me you would think that after walking in the with the power of god for so many years you should get used to the dynamism of the workings of god's power i still i still am amazed at how the power of god rests upon people and the, the, the entire administration of the power of God is still a, a, maybe not a surprise in all fairness, but it still keeps me in awe. I'm, I'm just saying, my God, I fear you every time I see him do this thing. Now, you can imagine a, a, a church is silent, peaceful, matured, able-bodied looking people. And in seconds, just like that, deliverance and all kinds of things begin to happen to people. What a marvelous God we serve. Hallelujah. So I'm going to pray. God has given me the marching orders by his spirit. Ordinary men helped by God. Hallelujah. The power of God is going to begin to fall on people now. Don't shout. Don't say anything. I just want you to bring them out. I'm seeing the ground open. And I'm seeing something look like smoke coming out of that ground. And this is connection with ancestry and the spirits of the dead. And there are people within this auditorium and outside. There are all kinds of demonic fraternities. And right now, by the spirit of God, the power of God is beginning to rest on such families and altars. Please bring them out. Bring them out right now. It's not something you can stand. This is, this is by the spirit of the living God. Please prick them out and bring them out very quickly. Jesus is alive and the power of the grave is broken, broken forever. I decree and declare right now that everything young and old, there are some of you who are standing representing families, fraternities with the grave, the spirits of the dead. It says, oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? May that grace come upon you now, bringing liberty, bringing liberty, bringing liberty by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Marvelous God. Now, God is showing me something. I'm seeing something that looks like a shadow coming out of people, like physically, shadow. These are spirits that have been moving in the bodies of people. In the name of Jesus, every familiar spirit, every spirit that is not of God, that has connected itself to your spirit, manipulating your life and your destiny, I declare that it leaves you right now. I bring you deliverance right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. 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 Hallelujah. Now we're going to shout that name Jesus. Please hear me. This is not just for individuals now. There are many, many families. The Lord is showing me, I'm seeing a man standing, a very tall man. And I'm seeing chains on your feet. Both of your feet. They are under chains. And the Lord is telling me that that man represents families. It's not just an individual. We're about to shout that name Jesus. The moment that happens, the power of God will come on individuals. Representing their various families. No matter where they are. Some of them may not be here on ground. But the power of God is coming upon them. Are you ready to shout that name Jesus? One, two three shout Jesus I break those chains I break those chains now I break those chains now I release families under demonic under demonic captivities chains be broken chains be broken chains be broken Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. In fact, for that person, I don't know if it's that you have changed the surname or you want to change the surname. 
because someone told you something about the surname and said there is something connected to ancestry that comes with that name who is that person i'm about to pray for that person i'm seeing a lady you are wearing red complete red down this is you are one of such persons that the lord wants to visit with that name i'm giving it please let's respect the I give the chains falling. I give the chains falling. Let me tell you the truth. Now I'm not I'm not advising you to go and change names. I am just telling you that in the realm of the spirit, a name is more than a means of identification. Are we together now? To the an extent that God would call Abraham Abraham. Sarai, Sarah, Cephas, Peter. I want to pray right now. I'm going to stretch my hands towards you. The power of God is going to come. You don't have to change the name physically, but from the realm of the spirit, any connection with any name, in the name of Jesus, those in front, I stretch my hands right now. Every altar that powers any name to walk evil over you, in the name of Jesus, I declare right now at the count of three, let it be broken. One, two, three. Break, break now. 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 Every name connected to ancestry. I'm saying it again. Names that came as a result of dedications done to idols. Names that came as a result of covenants with the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead, from the realm of the spirit, I break the power of those names now. I break the power of those names now. I break the power of those names now. I'm telling you, I'm just seeing fire rising in front. That's what I'm seeing. I say it again. I break the power of those names now. The power of the, help that woman. The power of those names now. Please hear me. I'm praying for everybody. But then for those in front here. Any exchange that has happened in the realm of the spirit. An exchange of your destiny. On account of Keteketa. An exchange of Abare Ketoskiata. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing exchanges happening. Let there be a restoration now. A restoration now. By fire. A restoration now. A restoration now. A restoration now. Release your destinies. Release your destinies. Every altar. Release your destinies now. Please hear me. Some of you, while I'm praying for you here, your loved ones who are not here, but because they are connected by bloodline, what God is doing, I'm saying it again. He said, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. The mother called him Jabez, sorrow. Every name, spiritually and physically, that is upon your life right now, and is responsible for your destruction, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. Let that name change now. The power behind that name, I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray a very serious prayer right now. For those who can, you can return to your seat. I'm, I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. Listen carefully now. And the Spirit of the Lord is taking me to Benue State. And I'm hearing the name Aleku in the name of Jesus Christ. Any family that is connected to that spirit of divination. Right now, the power of God is going to come on some people. That spirit, Aleku, be broken. Be broken, be broken. The spirits of the dead, help them please. Benue State or anyone connected to that state in the name of Jesus Christ be broken now be broken now
been wasted. I don't know what it is that you have to do with a tree, but the Lord is showing me a tree. Every covenant, it is true that believers are called trees, but not demonic trees. I decree and declare every connection with the elements of creation that is for your destruction. I set you free now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me share with you what God just showed me. This is an incredible vision. I just stood here now. You know how you open peanut or groundnut? You just open the shell. And God is telling me there are destinies that have been wrapped up by demonic altars. Listen, listen. Fire is about to fall on some people now. I want you to bring them out. Every destiny, I don't know by what demonic means, your glory was covered. But in the name of Jesus, by the power and the authority of Jesus, as you shout the name, there are ministries that will rise tonight. There are visions that will rise tonight. At the count of three, shout Jesus. Please bring them out. One, two, three. I open up that closed destiny. I open up that closed destiny. I open up, my God, please help them. I open up that closed destiny right now. Be open, be open, be open. Please help them, be open. Hallelujah. Now, now is not the time for impartation. But the Lord is asking me to pray for a gentleman. You don't have to come out so that you are not embarrassed. You were genuinely called into the prophetic. God has called you into the prophetic. But something happened one day. Now, I don't, I don't speak evil against the body of Christ. But you were introduced to somebody who supposedly laid hands on you and gave you something. You know, maybe I don't know. I, I presume not intending for evil. But that thing connected you with familiar spirits from that time you started having very destructive visions and even torture for yourself i don't know who that person is whether you are inside or outside or online but in the name of jesus the lord is asking me to minister your deliverance be set free now i declare the purity of your mantle let there be restoration now Hallelujah. I'm seeing the number seven. A woman, seven years, you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I know there are many people, but please, let's just walk with instructions. Seven years. Who is that person? Seven years. Very quickly, I want to begin to pray for the sick. You are seven years. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. My God. God himself is bringing healing. I'm bringing deliverance healing and deliverance when you find that person please seven years where is that person come where are you from benway. Huh? Benway. benway state come stand here how many years seven yes where is your husband he's not here he's not here Listen, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something about the power of God. Once you can believe, look at this woman, seven years. Now, many married women, many married women will tell you of the kinds of things that happen in Africa. There are people when they get married, three months is enough, everybody's looking at you. Saying, what, are, nothing is happening, are you alright? Three months. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, be silent, let her go now. <laughs> My um, madam, look at me. I'm going to pray for all of you, but lay your hands. I want you to know that the power of God is able to set you free. I know that women will still disobey, but no problem, just let them come. Place your hand in your stomach. 
there is grace for fruitfulness in this house so let me tell you the truth i'm about to pray most barrenness issues are demonic you know that by now let me pray for you now i will use you madam from benway as a point of contact I'm praying for her, but I'm seeing someone else under the anointing. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit now. Let them go. I command that spirit out now. Out now. Out now. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit responsible for barrenness. I'm seeing something like a rope being removed from one of your wombs. I remove it right now. I remove it right now. I remove it right now. In the name of Jesus, I remove it right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I prophesy to you, according to the time of life, return with your miracle children. Return with your miracle children. There is a woman you are watching from Ghana. You are sitting in your living room. You have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for four years. You are seated right now with someone i don't know if it's your sisters you are following this program in the name of jesus go and write it god will give you a baby boy <laughs> hallelujah don't be offended and i don't want you to come out but there is a woman you see i don't believe in the ministry of condemnation we help by the spirit but there is a woman because of a prolonged childlessness you again went somewhere and it's not like you were you were even uncomfortable but they took you somewhere where somebody was supposedly maybe do something to help you and from that time it has been affecting you you have been bleeding this has this is a demonic thing wherever that person is in the name of jesus we dissociate you from those demonic things We dissociate you from those demonic things. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jennifer. I'm hearing a name Jennifer. And the Lord is telling me it has come to an end help them please it has come to an end this is what i'm hearing in my spirit it has come to an end jennifer the word jennifer that's what i'm hearing i'm about to pray it has come to an end i stretch my hands right now i don't know what it is but in the name of jesus christ jennifer let it come to an end now 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 by the power of the holy spirit now it comes to an end by the anointing of the holy spirit i'm speaking under the unction of the spirit i say it again it comes to an end ah. there is a family right now god is delivering marriage does not work in that family no matter even if you marry you must return back to your husband's house i just saw light i don't know where that family is whether you are inside or outside but the power that has tied down the power that has tied down the marital destiny of that family i lose that family now Hallelujah. I lose that family now. Now, Azaria family is also following. The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing two ladies. I'm just seeing the venue, our venue in Zaria. And I'm seeing two ladies. In the name of Jesus, the fire of God is coming upon them right now. And the Lord, I'm hearing the word restoration. I believe it's not just for them. But I'm praying for someone. There is a mantle that is coming on someone for strange restoration. Please hear me. Please hear me. Please hear me. Please hear me. I'm about to pray. That power will come upon you. This is between now 
and 15th of December, you will come and testify in the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing right now. Receive that grace right now. Help them, please. Help them, please. Help them. Receive that grace right now. Between now and 15th of December, I prophesy to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Restore, 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 restore in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a word for someone. The trouble that is surrounding your office needs the miracle hand of God now. If not, I'm seeing something about to happen to you by next month. This is a career person. Antagonisms around your office. And with what I'm seeing, it's like a query later. And I'm seeing something that is making you lose your job. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. But I'm speaking to you by God who is the helper of men. I turn things around for your favor. I turn things around for your favor. The Lord is showing me, I'm seeing a family. You are watching from National Hospital. National Hospital here in Abuja. You are at the sick bed with somebody, a patient. And I'm seeing you are watching, someone is watching the video. When it's time to pray for the sick, I want your heart to be open. The Lord is encouraging you so that you will know that no matter where you are, He is able to touch you by His Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are 11 people here. Please listen. 11 people you are in business. The grace is a strong unction for entrepreneurship. You are already in business. That anointing is coming on you in three months. Three months from today. The way God will shift you, it will surprise you. 11 people. 11 people. I stretch my hands right now. 11 people inside and outside may that grace rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now hallelujah i'm hearing a name this is a house name hafsatu is it hafsatu hafsatu who is that What is your name? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Jerusalem State. <laughs> do you believe in Jesus? Yes, I do. Lift your hands. There is the grace of Deborah upon you. God is going to raise you as a warrior even for your family. Listen carefully. I want you to take some time, maybe a day or two or three, and just fast and pray and ask the Lord to direct you. Don't be careless about your life. There is the grace that was upon Deborah upon you. I stretch my hands for you and I pray for the remaining. I, I don't know why they are out, but may, probably their names or their loved ones, but I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Bring the gentleman that shouts right now under the anointing. I want to talk to him. There is a gentleman. There is a strong anointing. Not a lady. A gentleman. If you can, please. This gentleman is wearing white. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. When the power of God comes on him, let me know. Please bring him. Let's hurry up. I want to pray for the sick. Allah shadaka tosa brandege barahausia. Shalaga de brandege diasem. There is a man of God here. Please hear me. There's a man of God here. 
you are in the overflow you are not outside you are in the overflow not the basement you know one of the overflows here you came with a hunger for your ministry because things have not been working as i'm speaking right now the power of god is coming upon you your one prayer request is not even for yourself you are saying lord i have done my best i don't want to compromise but truly the ministry is not working in the name that is above all names i declare that an unction comes upon you right now is this the gentleman father leave him okay he can stand stand my friend where are you from huh cross river State. cross river yes, i want to pray for you the lord is bringing captivity to end in your family what do you do i'm an entrepreneur i can't for it I'm seeing you in prison. I have to pray for you. Don't be, don't feel bad, eh? I'm not, I'm here to help you. Don't feel bad. I'm seeing something happening and I'm seeing you in the court and from court, they are locking you in the prison. This has to do with people's money. You need to be careful. You need to seek advice. You're already in trouble now as you're standing. It's not even like you are free. It's just that it's going to be more trouble that will land you in prison. You need help, eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, the spirit that wants to put this gentleman in trouble, I decree and declare, be delivered from it now. Be delivered from it now. But that's not even why I asked you to come out. The Lord is going to use you to really deliver your family. You believe that? I stretch my hands over you and I pray in the name of Jesus, may that grace of a deliverer rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a woman a strong anointing coming on you you own a restaurant a restaurant this is food business and i'm seeing the grace of god it's going to be a new season god is opening very strange doors you will be surprised to see the kind of clientele that god connects you with this will happen by the spirit i'm declaring it unto you in the mighty and matchless name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me a woman you are not you are not young you are you are quite an elderly woman God has granted you grace right from when you were young the grace to have prophetic dreams many things that are happening in Nigeria today God showed you in dreams it's just that you did not know that this thing is a call upon your life I don't know who that person is but God is speaking to me that I should talk to you whether you are following online or you are listening God is saying I should tell you to take the time to pray and ask the Lord to fan the coals of that prophetic dimension of your life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is asking me to count the number seven and people are going to start running out from all the auditorium and the overflows by the spirit it is a strong grace for speed an antidote to delay I begin my counting bring them out one my goodness two you will be surprised some of you you do not even think you will be the people three four I'm counting seven that's what God is telling me five get ready now six my goodness may that grace for speed that swallows up delay are you ready seven receive that grace now receive that grace now speed 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 every delay every stagnation speed over your life 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 sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and his riders have been drawn into the sea I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and its riders have been drawn into the sea This is a word for someone. Remember ye not the former things. Madam, 
whose cup are you lifting? Come, he will not die. Where is he? I'm seeing that the man is in this place. Oh, yes, is he here? here. Come. Here. Don't be embarrassed, sir. Please come. Is he here? I just want to speak over his life. God bless you, sir. Thank you. We're honored to have you. And thank God for your wife. I just want to speak a word over your life. In the name of Jesus for you and your wife, sir. The fullness of your days you will fulfill. You will not die, not in battle, not by conspiracy. Who is with that crutch? You? My dear, look at me. In the name of Jesus, walk. Lift it up, walk. Who is lifting it up? Help them, please. Mama, in the name of Jesus, walk. she came mama look at me you believe in Jesus how long has this been how long has this been For more than 30 years now. more than 30 years eight, eight, eight. mama look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I bring life to you Amen. by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead Amen. life to you Amen. come follow me Amen. just careful with her come in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ careful careful I decree and declare that this situation this demonic thing comes to an end now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now everyone who is on a crutch or holding an, a chair or a stretcher every inability to walk whether you are here or in all the overflows or outside in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I speak over you now by the power that raised Christ from the dead let life come to you begin to walk now begin to walk now if you could not walk stand up and try walking now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is healing peptic ulcer. I'm seeing someone you've suffered is, is acute ulcer, severe pain. Severe pain, especially around your chest. In the name that is above all names. I don't know who that person is, but the power of God is touching you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know if I don't know if it's a symptom of something but I'm seeing someone your hair is falling off your hair you are a lady your hair is falling off I don't know if it's as a result of any medical procedure or whatever it is but you are losing your hair and God wants me to pray for you right now you are losing your hair who is that person I want to pray for you I'm going to pray this is a demonic thing. This, for one of you, this has nothing to do with medicine. This is a demonic issue. I stretch my hands right now. For the head, the, the woman's hair is a glory, the Bible says. I prophesy right now. In the name of Jesus, every altar that is responsible for this, I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. Listen, I don't know at what age hair 
grows or doesn't grow, that is none of my business. I prophesy a restoration of your hair as a sign that God is restoring your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying it again that every altar, every altar, I'm hearing a name, Kaza Chat, Kaza Chat. I presume this is a Kaduna name, Kaza Chat. This is what I'm hearing. Whether you are here, whether you are in Zari, I'm hearing the name Kaza Chat. I don't know who that person is, but the Lord wants to avert the spirit of death from the family of Kaza Chat. If I didn't pronounce it well, my apologies. I'm only speaking as I heard. Kaza Chat. I use this name as a point of contact. Any family here that the devil is already programming death from now that you will not enter 2023 in the name of Jesus. I command those altars judged now. Shout a loud amen. Those altars judged now. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. There is a gentleman God is showing me here. You started applying for jobs since 2017. Till now you have not gotten anything. You are a gentleman. You have applied, applied, you applied in Abuja, you applied in Lagos, you applied online. You've done everything. You have even prayed and fasted and it looks like the doors of jobs will not be open. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, this year will not be over before you get your job. I don't know who that person is, but I'm speaking to you by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to you by the spirit of the living God. There are two people right now who will start laughing by the spirit. I want you to bring them out. I'm going to pray for the sick now. This is, this is, this is, I've explained it to you here. It's a ministry of signs and wonders. It happens by the spirit. The Bible says the shout of joy and rejoicing shall not depart out of the tent of the righteous. It's not just about laughing, gibberish and misbehaving. No, this is when God gives this, this is a note of victory in the realm of the spirit. It is a token for establishing something prophetically. I declare right now by the spirit of the living God, that laughter is not a laughter unto shame. Sarah has laughed and said, all who hear this will laugh with me. I am saying it to you again in the name of Jesus. I'm using them as a point of contact. Everything that has brought prolonged tears and sorrow, hear me, prolonged tears and sorrow over any family here. I'm speaking to you, step into your season of laughter. Step into your season of laughter. You were rejected visa three times. Three times. I can imagine that, you know, several people want to leave Nigeria. So there are many people who have been rejected even 10 times. But this is particularly, this is someone you have been rejected visa three times. This is, um, I'm seeing UK, then America. You've been rejected three times it's not just about visa but God wants to visit you and to pray for you we may not have the time to ask you to come out there's there's no point feeling embarrassed but in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying for you the Lord is showing me a woman here um, don't feel bad and I'm not people have a right to live whatever they want to live but we are speaking within the confines of Scripture you have a son this boy has gone abroad and he has become what they call it transgender these guys that turn and become like women that's what i'm seeing this is i don't know who that but this thing has brought pain for the woman she has been crying right now to say a son that i'm depending on and he's gone abroad and a wrong um you know a group of people influences across his life and it looks like he has become something else can I pray for all our loved ones who are outside this nation? Can I speak a word? You see, let me tell you, please look up. Um, whether you are a parent, whether you are a guardian, or anyone who is involved in raising someone, the greatest reward you can give anybody for investing in you is a responsible life. First, your spiritual responsibility, and then number two, responsibility in terms of purpose. Hallelujah. It is a very painful thing. Trust me, by the privilege of God's grace, 
I have been behind the rising of several people. I have raised people from primary school to university. So I, I have an idea of the pain of investing in someone and then the person does not become anything. In the name of Jesus, let me start with anyone here who is directly involved in raising someone. You will not raise trouble. Shout a loud amen. You will not raise trouble. You will not invest your money, your time, your credibility on someone who will bring shame and reproach for you. Then we pray for all our children who are in diaspora, Europe, America, across the seven continents. May the hand of God preserve them from the decadence of the times. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing a gentle man. I'm seeing his mother ask him to watch this program and he's reluctantly watching from UK. This boy has mental health. He was diagnosed in the hospital and they said he has a mental health issue. In the name of Jesus Christ, as a sign that your mother did not just ask you to watch but is the Holy Spirit who led her. And that is also a sign that Jesus is looking for you. He wants to make meaning out of your life. I declare be healed from this mental health condition. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for the sick now. My head, thou was exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil the Lord just showed me someone I just saw in a vision I believe this is literal I'm seeing you receive an award I don't know if it's an award for what but this is your organization honoring you in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who that person is but I prophesy that as God has revealed so let it be as God has revealed, so let it be. As God has revealed, so let it be. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. We're going to pray for the sick. By reason of this work, you see, the apostolic ministry will expose you to the pain of people. Many of you here are men of God and women of God, and you understand what this means. I have wept at people's um, funerals I have stood before dead bodies I have seen families cry I know the value and the power of introducing the healing anointing to a body that is sick and a body that is ailing some of you here right now you came here literally with death sentences you came here with all kinds of situations we are going to pray right now and whether you are in the main auditorium outside all of the overflows down to the basement or following by way of television or internet I want you to know that Jesus heals and he's about to touch you now some of you whilst you came out under the anointing many miracles have been happening to you this is what I want you to do you're going to lay your hands this moment lay your hands on any part of your body where you believe God for healing and then you can also stand in for a loved one a friend someone you are trusting God for a miracle for if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest as a um, point of contact I have seen the miracle working power of God it's not something I should be saying at this time but I can tell you I know that Jesus heals I have seen God do phenomenal miracles and even tonight and even right now he is going to honor Jesus once again. The Holy Spirit. That is his assignment. Yours is to receive by faith. Take your eyes away from the sickness or infirmity. Those of you who are falling from hospitals, you cannot imagine. And by the way, may God, do you know that there are hospitals that literally, the people get screens and put services like this just for their patients, especially hospitals that are pro-faith. What a, what a profound contribution to their health and wellness. And what an honor the Lord gives us to come into those hospitals and to come to minister to their patients. I have told you that I am a firm believer in the power of medicine and doctors. I'm surrounded by and with doctors, medical practitioners. I'm not one person who throws... 
doctors have contributed immensely to my life and my health they have supervised my well-being they have been there for me and i'm indebted to them but listen let me tell you there are situations that defy medicine there are situations and i i i i thank the lord for the partnership between vessels of honor and power and medical practitioners is is a very pro kingdom alliance that many doctors are not only carrying the healing anointing right now themselves but they have understood they have discerned that they can see a situation and say listen in addition to my practice my professional practice i acknowledge that you need the power of god hallelujah the same way even as men of god we pray for people and we also refer them to doctors i have gone to hospitals to see people and pray for them and you know it, it should work that way the most important component the similarity between doctors and those who heal by faith is love once there is love the most important thing is provided is not an antichrist pathway once it leads to the healing and the wholeness of that person it must be altogether embraced gone are the days where men of god talk against doctors and doctors talk against men of god and two of them are loggerheads one thing has brought us together love that we are more interested in the the well-being of that individual than our individual uh, whatever it is hallelujah and so we're praying right now and when i pray for you some of you may need to quickly go to a medical stand to ask them check you and verify every and any medical condition is healable tonight i want your heart to be open and to receive now here's what we're going to do very quickly the moment i pray for you the power of god will touch you you don't have to bring those under the anointing out again just manage them so they don't injure themselves and then very quickly i'm going to ask you to come and stand here for those who have been healed and will take a few testimonies while that is happening at the same time may i request all um the prayer requests those of you who are yet to submit your prayer request please wave it because this is a very major um, expression of your desires hallelujah lay your hands now and let's pray lay your hands everywhere inside outside the tens of thousands of people who are following online across the nations of the earth Jesus comes to you now with his healing power I want you to shout a loud amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil behind infirmities. In the name of Jesus, I cause that spirit to give way now. I command that spirit to give way now. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, be healed now. Be healed now. Outside, be healed now. All the overflows, be healed now. The main auditorium, be healed now. Azaria family be healed now our global family connecting be healed now now it does not matter what is wrong with you I minister the life and the power of Jesus I declare healing for you right now high blood pressure go down now low blood, pre low blood pressure come up now Diabetes be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Blood conditions of all sorts be cleansed and corrected now. Migraine headache be healed now. Bone conditions be healed now. Neurological conditions be healed now. Psychosomatic conditions be healed now. Growths of all kinds be healed now. Yes. 
anybody having a troubling genotype we change your genotype right now there's someone I'm seeing that you have severe pain in your right eye severe pain I don't know if you see or you don't see but severe pain in your right eye be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord don't be embarrassed this is why it is the house of God and you don't have to come out I'm only praying for you I'm seeing a gentleman here you don't even know what is wrong with you but what is wrong with you is an STD you need help we are praying for you but please you need to go and see the doctor this is this is a, a urinary you know um, something that has to do with your reproductive organ you need help very quickly because if this thing is not arrested and managed it has been there for a long time you just have been careless and negligent may the Lord show you mercy right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone who has just been healed from pile very painful condition of pile in the name of Jesus I establish your healing right now I have prayed for this kind of situation before I've seen it many times in my vision where a woman is not with child yet she's lactating I don't know the name of the medical condition where a woman does not have a child there's no baby but she's producing breast milk and this has become a serious inconvenience with a lot of pain in the name of Jesus Christ I declare normalcy to your body right now The Lord is healing someone you have a liver problem I don't know if you are here or a patient you have your problem is with your liver this is like you are literally dying in the name of Jesus be healed right now we pray for cancer patients can we agree and pray for cancer patients Lord preserve their lives preserve their lives preserve their lives preserve their lives I don't know which general hospital is this but I am seeing someone who is in coma the person has been in coma since last month in the name of Jesus we knock on the door of life and we call the person back to life right now in the name of Jesus Christ there is a gentleman you've been having again I advise you that even though we we'll pray right now but please see a doctor You've been having unusual heartbeat like your heart your heartbeat your heart rate is not beating normally I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm not a doctor my apologies but this is a serious cardiovascular issue you need to see a doctor to attend to you immediately or at least maybe at the back or you will lie down and sometimes you literally gasp for breath it's not COVID this is something that I'm seeing you are having a problem with your heart in the name of Jesus by the message of God anyone having breathing problems breathing issues be healed now be healed now be healed now even though I'm praying for sick people but I'm praying for a woman who is always seeing dead people in her dreams always as this is not once in a while as soon as you lie down you must always see at least one dead face the spirit of death over you that wants to swallow you up using sickness I declare be free from it right now be free from it right now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you have a swelling here just this part that I'm touching just near your armpit area it looks like it's, it's from within and this is something that is, is hard I command healing for you right now now whether I mention your case or not be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus we're going to do this very quickly right now outside the main auditorium across the balcony 
all of the overflows i want you to check yourself as an act of faith it is important it is always important to testify when you see god touch you testimonies preserve your miracles i want you to check yourself right now the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you be very bold i want you to get up and make your way to the front check yourself do what you couldn't do before for those who were under the anointing and then you got up and found out there's been a relief right now make that happen quickly and while that is happening the prayer request please wave your prayer request if you are yet to drop it and the ushers will pick it let's celebrate those who are coming out for miracles especially for those outside those outside please allow them come very quickly let's celebrate them while that is happening please make sure that you have your prayer request hallelujah are you celebrating those who are coming out check yourself do what you couldn't do don't sit back check yourself all the overflows make your way to the front right now in the name of jesus confirm your healing don't allow the devil send you back with any infirmity check yourself very quickly you can go to the medical stand if you need to you check yourself there's there's someone you came here with severe pain at the right side right side of your neck i don't know what that condition is but right now this moment it's gone completely and then there is someone in i think the basement now the overflow in the basement you came here with severe abdominal pain but right now the power of god is touching you check it very very quickly and when we have those people let's have a few of them out to come and testify to the glory and the name of the lord and for those who are coming ushers please lead them correctly so that we have them you can distribute them across here with pastor jakes and then um benga and his team there very quickly so that we can have a few of the testimonies the lord is healing a little baby i'm seeing the lord touch a little baby i don't know whose child that is but this is a medical condition um with that little child that little baby i don't know what that is now um is it a breathing problem or a blood a circulation problem in the name of jesus christ let that baby right now this moment let that baby be healed in the name of jesus christ let that baby be healed in the name of jesus christ let that baby be healed in the name of jesus christ and i'm hearing the name jephthah i'm hearing the name jephthah this is who is jephthah where are you coming from huh come I, I, i'm not hearing you just let's just take even if it's just three three very quickly are you coming from the east yes sir where in most states can i pray for you yes sir what do you do sir um currently i'm, I'm just freelancing nothing really tangible for now i want to pray for you because i'm looking at you and i'm seeing something just sit on your destiny and it's not only your destiny even your family members and even though i've ministered for people like had the name jephthah you understand can i pray for you father in the name of jesus i pray for jephthah you came all the way from the east i use you as a point of contact to pray for all your family members in the name of jesus i speak to you prophetically rise from tonight rise to a new dimension I lose you from every chain and I take away every weight upon your shoulder. Go and prosper. Go and prosper in Jesus name. God bless you. Can we have a few testimonies? Let's celebrate Jesus for what he's doing in the midst of his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Praise Apostle, the name of God. Yes. She had an accident. Walk with them, eh? Walk with the protocol. Don't yes. be stubborn, my friend. Huh? We don't I do that. Hold on, hold on, darling. This is the house of God. You don't just walk walk don't let them have to you know waylay you some of these things people do where the house of god is a place of discipline and order are we together you don't just walk and come to the pulpit if you have a testimony be patient they'll allow you to share it huh go ahead my dear so, yes sir. sir she's so shocked what happened I your name and your testimony very quickly my name is Ekerin, help us with the sound gentlemen i had an accident in zaria since March and I couldn't touch this shoulder. You couldn't touch this yes. shoulder for how long? Since March. Yes. And right now, touch it. Uh, that is how your hand will reach your blessings. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that healing is permanent in your life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Let's celebrate Jesus. Yes, please, very quickly. So, Apostle, we have another testimony. Yes. Um, 
I'm Chalna Denjuma. Yes. I have a small boy in my eye, my right eye. Yes. It's like a stone in my eye. But when I check the mirror, I notice that it's something that swelled up here. Yes. But when I came in, it was a bit pain in me. But when you mentioned the case, I can't feel it again. Completely. I Come on now. Are you giving Jesus praise? Just like that. Yes, please. My name is Olubodo Lamides TV. Before, I can fast three days dry fasting. But since the beginning of this year, if I'm trying to fast, I begin to feel headache and my body begins to hurt. But now as we're praying, I'm even feeling the headache, but as you, the dad, daddy was praying, I laid my hands on my head and my stomach. I couldn't find the headache and the stomach. Completely. Yes, In the name of Jesus, you are free from this demonic thing. Yes. Go and serve the Lord acceptably. So In Apostle, Jesus' name. Yes, similar sir. Similar testimonies, they were all having pains. Pains? Praise the Lord. My name is Chine Chenem Nemeka. I have, I came here with chest pain and stomach, stomach issue. Okay. So minister, someone that have chest pain. Right now he's gone. I can't pain and, and same thing with you, my friend. Pain. Pain at the neck. For how long? This morning. Sir. This morning. In Jesus' name, you're both free, free forever. Let's hear the testimony of the little one. My God. Can you imagine? Okay. I just got confirmation that she will I love children. Oh. My name is Farrah to testify that my head was paining me now it's gone oh dear look at this celebrate koinonia children oh. god bless you in the name of jesus praise god immediately daddy prophesied about the ulcer i immediately i just said amen i felt i kept on having acid reflux for over five minutes i even my neighbor noticed me it didn't start like all the gas in me that has been giving me this constant as reflux all of them just came out completely in the name of jesus it will never return to you again amen. by the power of the holy spirit amen. yes let's hear mama's testimony Speak we anything, are... Mama. English, Hausa, whatever. Just speak. Okay. As you are praying, I, I cannot walk. I cannot stand. But after the prayer, I now get strength. Walk, Mama. For 15 years. For 15 years. I have not been working. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, dear. 15 years. Ladies and gentlemen. God is great. God is great, Mama. Is great. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Meduguri. All the way from Meduguri. I have been coming, but I could not see you. It is today that Jesus said, I must see you. Go back and tell Meduguri people that we love them and that Jesus still heals. Let's celebrate. Go ahead and walk, Mama. 15 years. 16. I even leave my job because of the sickness. You know, federal work every they report here and there I now drop my job I prophesy may God restore listen I'm speaking to her prophetically the backlog of the honor the grace and everything that should have come to you God who healed you right now will declare restoration please walk back to your seat with joy look at this give Jesus praise 15 years hallelujah Yes, please. Let's have from this end. Go ahead, very quickly. Apostle said there are several neck pain. She had had pain in her back for the past two years. But as she prayed, she said she couldn't stand for long. But now she could stand. The pain is gone. In the name of Jesus, I decree neck and declare pain. for all of you together who have neck problems, we do not take for granted the workings of God in your life. Be healed right now. I declare your testimonies perfected by the power of God. Yes, please. You gave a word of knowledge about a man with a chronic pile. Pile? So pile. He has had it for like three weeks. So when you gave that word, he quickly went to the confidence to check himself, trying to ease himself, but nothing was coming out. He's perfectly whole. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. She had obliquity surgery, February, which has created difficulty in, in her You family. had surgery? When? In May. Where? Umbilical hernia, okay. just close to my navel. Yes. So after the surgery, after some time, I started feeling pains. I cannot sit down for long. I cannot bend down for long. But right uh, what now, happened? Bend down now. Any pain? Any pain? Koinonia, don't get used to miracles. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, let's have one more. 
Okay, yes, sir. So you gave a prophetic word, the word of knowledge. Yes, sir. Um, praise the Lord. Um, I used to have a protruding at the right side of my back. It's been there for years. My spinal cord is in an S shape. But Your spinal cord? Is in an S shape since birth. But when pastor decreed, it's no longer there. Completely, it's gone. What couldn't you do? Look at me, my dear. What couldn't you do before? When I came in today, my back, I couldn't even sit properly on the chair. Go and sit on that chair now. Go ahead. Sit near pastor. Let's see. Any pain? Look at this. Please stand up. Hallelujah. S-shape. You see, these are the various demonic things that we have in our world. How is someone's back um, spine S shape. I don't even, how does that rest now? You see how wicked the devil is? He doesn't choose whether you are Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, whether you are young or old. My dear, in the name of Jesus, your healing is permanent. You go back and tell everyone who knew you that Jesus still heals. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, sir. Hey, my name is Iken. So anything I want to read, as in to pick up a book to read, immediately yes. I'll start having severe he headache, as in... And what happened to you now? Just now, the teeth disappeared. Completely. Even this girl, this in the name of Jesus head. Christ, Ikenna, it will never return to you again. Amen. You are healed, healed forever in Jesus' name. Yes, Amen. please. So, Apostle, an interesting testimony. I had to ask him again. <laughs> okay. What happened to you? Okay, I, I had a dream. You had a dream? Yes, sir. When, Straight to the point. Okay, um, it was like peak pig was feeding seven children then the next thing I had like um, sparkling in this leg since then the leg was feeling it was even swelling but when you talk so sorry sir so he came in here with a swollen leg oh you came in here with, with a, a swollen, swollen leg. leg since you had the dream about the pig yes sir. Uh -huh. but when you talked about people walking the legs started shaking and, and the legs started shaking and that's it run run Any pain, turn and return back. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, oh. You're not You gave word of knowledge of peptic ulcer. She ulcer. has had it for five years. The pain is gone now, healed by the power of God. Completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you, my dear. God bless you in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate that miracle. Yes, please. Five years degenerative disc disease of the neck. Now Did she's here with her collar healed. She lift it up. Her neck. How long? Five years. Let us speak. How long, my dear? I've had spinal pain for five years, and I was recently diagnosed of degenerative disease of the cervical spine. I couldn't move my neck when I came here. Move it now. Pain. Let the devil see you. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That's your collar. In the name of Jesus, this is permanent. Never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. There is an online testimony in there. Good evening, Cornelia. Apostle just mentioned my case. I've been lactating without ever being pregnant and having a baby. It's been causing me serious pain as I have no baby to take the milk and my breasts have been in God. God has healed me now. If I'm a... Can you imagine? When, when you send the text, send your region or the place, the state, so that we'll know. In the name of Jesus, that healing is permanent. Let's have maybe one or two more so that we can attend to the prayer requests. Praise God. Yes, sir. Also, you gave a prophetic word, a yes, word sir. of knowledge concerning this gentleman. Um, I was uh, at the back when daddy was saying that um, there is somebody that someone uh, lay his hand on him of a demonic spirit. So I am the one like everybody was rejecting me, but as of now, I am okay. Every, even as I was sitting, people still sit down but where before if i sit down everybody will like be going away from me but Re now I, I'm, I'm good in jesus name you are set free eh? Amen. let the favor of the lord rest upon you amen. in jesus name amen so sir he came in here always has internal heat. praise the lord 
I am Sunday by name. I want to bless the name of the Lord. Why Daddy was making declaration, I came tonight with a severe pain at my back and also with internal heat all the time. But today, now I am healed and Completely. I give glory to Jesus. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Lord, um, when Daddy was speaking um, prophetically, I was having this serious neck pain, and I couldn't stretch my neck. Very Your well. neck, and right and now, right now I'm go ahead, totally check pain. yourself. Yes. No, pain. Pain. no pain. It will never return to you again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. This is an online testimony from Kenya. I'm currently on admission in a hospital in Kenya. While watching this. When the service commenced, I got a bad attack from my leg shaking. Yes. To coughing, I was being monitored as the word from Apostle came about high BP. My BP suddenly stabilized. I'm not even ashamed to scream right in the hospital. Supernaturally, can you imagine? In the hospital and her BP just went down. Swollen leg healed. Swollen leg. How long? A week. And it's gone now. Yes, in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Abnominal pain, you gave the word of knowledge of someone at the basement. She's yes. healed now. Completely healed. Yes. Completely. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by Block, the power of the Holy Spirit. Block here, opened. Which of them? This one, the right one. Your right one. How long? I woke up with the blocked ear. Today? Yes. In the name of Jesus, we declare that opening remains permanent. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, please. Stroke healed from 2018. He came here and he asked the mother to connect in the village. You have now, the photo there. Look at this. From where, my friend? From Imo State. Imo State. Yeah, I just called her when you were praying. And then after the prayer, I just called her back and she said she's feeling fine. She's healed. Completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we agree for Mama. The Lord will preserve her in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Okay, let's have just one more from both of you so that we can apostle we need to hear this. yes please so mama is here with her son and you can see she's, she's yes fine. so please mama. what happened okay. let her speak she has been sick for a long period of time where are you know. coming from We're, i'm coming from joss but we are from nasara state okay yes so the thing started in our dreams then when i was still going she, she can she speak Yes. Tell her to speak, whether it's Hausa or whatever. You can interpret Pastor Jakes. So, Apostle, she said she had a dream, and in her dream, they actually give her meat to eat and they put things in her throat so she kept seeing dead people you see her you dream. see this kind of wicked demonic thing a woman of this age i heard her saying they take her somewhere yes, they sir. give her human meat or meat. something yes sir. and her legs were swollen and what and happened she now she walked in here with swollen legs sir. she walked she in here with swollen leg let her walk then sir she also had a growth in her neck let us speak. Yes, sir. So she's saying her tongue was actually twisted. So she couldn't speak properly. Can you imagine? You, you, see, you see this very demonic thing? That's all right, Mama. Can you see? Ten years. Over ten, ten years, years, this woman has been going through this oppression. Some of this, some of this traditional. Hold on, let me just pass a comment over some of these traditional things. In as much as we know that the leaves are for the healing of the nations, it depends on what the leaves was dedicated to. Because some of these leaves that they carry people to, eh, is, is just a connection with the spirits of the dead. 
those who do some of this priesthood in the village they are sincere people but they do not even know the basis of that covenant so we need to be careful in as much as uh, the people say once things are bad they just say go down to the village you must be careful make sure that they do not go and bow to demons and dedicate things to spirits and if you have been part of that be released right now yeah. mama what huh? Mama Badamwa, yes, you are coming to work as well. Walk, walk, walk. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This demonic situation demonic situation it will never return to you again in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus and for her dear son we pray that God will show you mercy for you and mama in the name of Jesus you are healed you are strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name we pray yes please go ahead destiny by name he was playing football last week and they fell on his hand God dislocated so he came trust. which of the hands destiny this one check it now any pain no pain look what the boy is doing in the name of jesus it will never return to you again and you fulfill destiny in jesus name let's celebrate him yes please several back pains back pains pain, all now, of them healed by the power of now God. for all of these conditions my apologies you can always register your testimony for next week in the name of jesus stretch your hands towards them in one minute and declare perfection for their healings in the name of jesus and for all those who have not been able to testify from around the world we receive your testimonies you can send them to our media people and we'll be sure to put it online or testify here if you give us the permission to in the name of jesus christ May this grace for healing return home with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Please be upstanding, everybody. Let's stand on our feet. Stretch your hands towards these prayer requests. And I want you to declare over them. And um, when we're done praying, I'm going to invite Bishop to just come and make one prophetic declaration over you. And then I'll invite my dear friend, Apostle Paul, amen, to just make a declaration and then we'll do the altar call and wrap up. But stretch your hands here and I want you to begin to pray. So many thousands, tens of thousands of requests here and across the globe. Is someone stretching your hands? Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles right now. Let there be miracles right now. Someone is praying. Let there be miracles right now. Let there be miracles right now. Let there be miracles right now. Supernatural miracles by the Spirit of the living God. Make sure you are praying. Sabrata kaparuska dia lakatosh. I lay my hands upon this prophetically every situation that must give way it gives way right now there is a balm in gilead we declare healing by the spirit of the living god father visit families for all those who are following online all those who are viewing from across the globe and for all those who are here in the name of jesus i believe I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe. In the name of Jesus, I bow my knees by the privilege of God's grace and I decree and declare that every issue of concern please listen carefully and shout a loud amen every issue of concern here represented it comes to a permanent end now it comes to a permanent end now 
it comes to a permanent end now it comes to a permanent end now it comes to a permanent end now and every long-standing issue by the power that raised Christ from the dead between now and the end of 2022 in the name of Jesus hold your testimony in your hand hold your testimony in your hand hold your testimony in your hand I lay my hands upon this request and I ask that the anointing of the Spirit will saturate this prayer request and let there be a harvest of answers let there be a harvest of testimonies in the name of Jesus every issue here that is an emergency issue we are arrested by the power of the Holy Spirit every issue here that is caused directly by demon spirits by the mercy of God let there be deliverance now every issue here that needs the approval of systems and structures we declare may the mercy of God show up now and every issue here that needs the ministry of destiny help us we declare may God raise men to show up therefore I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that these Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ may I please invite his Lordship Bishop please come and Apostle Amen please come I'm going to give Bishop the mic he's just going to speak words over your life I believe in taking advantage of the anointing here and I want you to receive as he speaks over your life receive it and then I will wrap up by declaring over your life yes sir just whatever the Lord just puts just it to speak blessings over his people in the name of Jesus Christ yes sir. in Jesus name amen I speak word of faith mm. concerning your life yes, Lord. And the work of your life lay your hands i pray grace that what you receive here mm. what you received here no eyes have seen amen no ears have heard amen. no is it perceived in the heart of man what god will continue to do in the name of Jesus Amen. as you turn around and start going back home God 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 will turn things around Amen. In the name of Jesus! By the time you come back here for the next service, you will come rejoicing. I say you will come rejoicing! In the name of Jesus! The Lord bless you. I decree in the name of Jesus the Bible says in Psalm 35 37 verse 25 the message translation I was old but young but now I'm old I have not seen an abandoned believer nor his children roaming the street begging for bread I decree by this mantle on this altar and these situations that look abandoned now receive grace of pain. Shaya Papadosa. Lipurate. From to die. Nothing good dies in your hand again. I decree that your heavens of favor be opened now. From to die. Let the ministry of angels. If less men 
in your favor. Before this year is over, let people sing your song. Let there be celebration in your house. Let doors you never knock be open for you. Let system walk in your favor. Let men be influenced in your favor. In the name of Jesus. By the time you wake up tomorrow, you are embracing miracles. You are embracing miracles. Many of you hear in the sound of my voice. I join my faith with the apostle. Before you get to receive phone calls of miracles. Receive text messages of miracles. Which your Lord has said and receive instant answer. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. God bless you, sirs. Let's honor them. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Still praying and speaking over your life. Prophetic words are very powerful. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every closed heaven over your life. I prophesy to you right now. This by the decree of the watchers. Let the heavens over you be open now. I speak over every day beginning from today till December 31st. Let no day end without you testifying. Let no day end without you testifying. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for your walk with God. This is for me a priority in the life of every believer. I don't care what else works in your life. If your spiritual life, your prayer life, your walk with God is down, then your life is under a situation that calls for emergency. Therefore, I speak over your spiritual life. In the name of Jesus, fresh fire upon your altar. 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 Fire upon your altar. The grace for prayer and supplication receive it in the name of Jesus the grace for a constructive study of the word receive it in the name of Jesus I have seen the favor of God in ways that I cannot begin to describe I know what the favor of God is and I know what it can do by the privilege of the help of God upon my life and upon this ministry receive favor now Shout a loud amen. Receive favor now. I speak over systems and structures. I compel them to walk in accordance to the will of God over your life. Anyone here who has been, who has been forgotten between today and next Sunday, in the name of Jesus, let the book of remembrance be open. Let the book of remembrance be open. Let the book of remembrance be open. As responsible citizens, we pray for Nigeria. Anyone plotting evil, anyone plotting war, every conspiracy of dark powers, right now, we command the elements of creation to fight everything that is antichrist. We declare that now the Lord of peace by himself, he will ensure that there is peace always and by all means. In the name of Jesus Christ, Concerning the preparation for the election, I don't belong to any party. I, you see me around with politicians, but I have, I'm a man of God. There's everybody in every party in this ministry. And fatherhood demands that you open your heart for everybody. I don't have any prejudices, no biases whatsoever. But one thing I can tell you is anybody who does not mean well, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not succeed. <laughs> Anybody across, whether from counselors down till whatever, burying animals, killing children and draining their blood, in the name of Jesus, we invoke the blood of the eternal covenant and we nullify those demonic sacrifices. 
But as for you, I prophesy upon you, you will not die. You will not be victims of kidnap. You will not be victims of accidents. Every ministry here represented, return back with fresh fire. Return back with fresh grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for all our international guests, I prophesy upon you, you return back with answers to your prayers. And in the name of Jesus, God will do mighty things with you. Hear me. Come December, when men say there is a casting down, when men are complaining, in the name of Jesus, may December be your greatest month in 2022. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know I've stretched you, but please listen. Hear me. God helps men, even financially. Stretch your hands towards me. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the help of God, the God of Jeshurun, the one who is able to help men, I pray over your finances. Between now and the end of this year, may my God, who is also your God, may he surprise you in a way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Very strange, mysterious financial doors may they open up for you. I say it again. Very strange, mysterious financial doors may they open up for you. Some of you will meet strangers and the strangers will say, God has sent me to help you. I declare over your life, you will not beg. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, all the sicknesses that fly around this nation, whether airborne, waterborne, realm of the spirit born, I cancel it from getting to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for all your loved ones who are not here, but connected to you by faith, please hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare as God is touching you here, may he touch them there. My final prayer for you, before I make an altar call, please let your hearts be open. All round rest. Whatever that is to you, all round rest. All round rest. All round rest. Whether it means rest maritally, whether it means rest financially, whether it means rest in terms of fruitfulness, whether it means rest in whatever must happen in your life to be called rest, I call upon my God to give you that rest. All round rest. And anybody who has vowed to trouble you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may God arise and scatter them. In the name of Jesus. Our time is up, but God is asking me to pray for people. I'm hearing in my spirit that there are many people who are having difficulty meeting their financial obligations in terms of house rent or maybe school fees of children or medical bills this is what i'm hearing in the name of jesus this one is by prophecy i don't care whether you do business or not i'm praying for you one week if i be called of god between now and the next one week may my god surprise you one week from now may my god surprise you I say it again one week from now. May my God surprise you. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from Zion. I prophesy to you that in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, no more tears. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. While standing, everyone, now I notice every time we're making the altar call, I know that there are people rushing so that they can get cars. There are, you know, um, tens of thousands of people. But may I request that, please, when we're making the altar call, as much as you can, 
if it's not an emergency please exercise patience for a minute and let's honor the people to come very quickly there are people here who need to make Jesus Lord of their lives and people who need to rededicate their lives to Jesus if you belong to any or all of these categories I'm going to count one to five Jesus said you must be born again there are people who need Jesus as a matter of life and death listen to me you can receive a miracle and you still go to hell you can receive a miracle and if you do not make your ways right with God your life can go haywire in a moment the greatest healing and the greatest deliverance is an encounter with Jesus whether you're in the main auditorium or for those who are outside those who are in all the other auditoriums and then for those who are connecting by way of the internet I count one to five I want you to leave your seat very quickly very boldly and come and stand before Jesus one koinonia let's celebrate them let's celebrate them come two you're running to Jesus the captain of your salvation the one who is able to help you don't let the devil lie to you and say there is no salvation for you the Bible says there is hope for a tree come three young and old rich poor male female exposed in exposed make your way to the altar if you need Jesus Four. let's celebrate them as they come Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him more. Thank you very much for making this bold decision. If you're still joining them, come very quickly. Let me request for those of you who are in front, God bless you. Lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. You are doing this unto Jesus. Say this after me. Please, if you're joining them, join quickly. If you come at the end of the prayer, you are not saved. It's important that you participate in the prayer. Hallelujah. If you're coming, run very quickly. I'm seeing a gentleman running. God bless you. Come. Come. We are a very pro-salvation ministry. Hallelujah. It matters to us and it matters to Jesus that we take the salvation of men seriously. Thank you. Now lift your hands. Please say this after me. Let it be um, from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I declare that I believe in you. I declare that I love you with all my heart. Tonight, I declare that Jesus is my Savior, Jesus is my Lord, and Jesus is my King. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. And right now, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm saved. I'm born again I receive of the ministry of the Holy Spirit and I declare that I go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name I'm going to pray for you the power of God is coming on one of you I just saw this in a vision the anointing of the Spirit just resting on one of you and the Lord is saying to you I'm praying for you that he's opening a new season for you it will not be like before again so the anointing of the spirit is one of you this is what I just saw in my vision I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit may the anointing of the Holy Spirit rest upon you the power to live above sin Satan hell and the grave I decree and declare in the name that is above all names you are set free right now in the name of Jesus you will go from glory to glory and then you will go from grace to grace in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord will show you mercy by the power of the Holy Spirit and I call you born again I declare that you are bona fide recipients of the life of God you go for whatever and backward never in Jesus name I pray my dear when are you due January lay your hands 
on your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. There will be no complication. I saw serious complication around childbirth. I rebuke it right now. I correct everything that needs to be corrected and you will deliver like the Hebrew women. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Congratulations. Let me request that you follow the counselors. They are waving the placard at you. Let's celebrate them as they go. They will have a word with you very quickly and you'll be back to your seat. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Give them a big God bless you. Big God bless you. Give them a big God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now to encourage you that we have, we're officially having our last service here for the year on the 18th. The 18th. So we have about um, four or so services left. I hope I'm right on that. Maybe two or about four. Not three. Three services. And as much as possible, we trust God that every one of them becomes literally a miracle service. That it will be an expression of of God's power and grace in the name of Jesus. So let me encourage and challenge you to make it a duty to be here and do not come alone. Invite people, especially those who you know are trusting God for a touch in their lives. This is why he sent us here. The Lord bless you and honor you in Jesus' name. Please stand. Thank you for your patience. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you and see you on Sunday. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord. Grant me the discipline.